Chapter 2261, The People Behind the Scenes, 3. The Holy Roland School was already completely different from when Shen Yang Xiao had entered their school. The disappearance of Uyang Huani Yu had brought great chaos to the whole school. With each branch, without a leader, and without Uyang Huani Yu, many mentors from other schools began to snatch students from Holy Roland School and many talented students were poached by other academies. The presidents of the various branches had become weary of dealing with it and wanted to appease the hearts of the people. Not long ago, the students of Holy Roland School began to disappear one after another. At RST, the mentors of each branch thought that these missing students had been poached by other schools, and that they were embarrassed to tell their mentors so they just quietly left. But as more and more students went missing later, the mentors of Holy Roland School sensed that something was amiss, and tried to ask students to spend less time outside and stay within the school as much as possible. But the act was not obvious. It was in his sleep that Uiu Lei was taken to the storm continent. The century-old glory of Holy Roland School had collapsed after the departure of Uyang Huan Yu. Hen Yang Xiao listened quietly. Her feelings for Holy Roland School were very complicated. It was her RST school and from her encounter with her companions in Phantom Tending her two masters, they all happened in Holy Roland School. It was also the RST place she rose after her rebirth. Without Holy Roland School to serve as her stepping stone, she might not have been able to enter the barren land and become a famous demon lord. It was just in these beautiful memories. One Uyang Huan Yu was partially mixed in. Now that Uyang Huan Yu was gone, Holy Roland School was in a quandary, Shen Yang Xiao could also not help but feel sad. You are you lay. Shen Yang Xiao suddenly called. Yes, tell me about their base on Storm Continent. Shen Yang Xiao clenched her SD secretly. Now that she knew that the students of Holy Roland School were sewering in such a situation, how could she, as a former student of Holy Roland School, sit idly by? Apart from Uyang Huan Yu, Shen Yang Xiao had always regarded Holy Roland School as her most cherished school. Even if she could no longer return to Holy Roland School as a student, she could not just stand by and watch as that group of warlocks performed this kind of persecution on the students of Holy Roland School. You, are you really going? Yu Ayu Lei was acutely aware that Shen Yang Xiao's momentum had changed dramatically. Yes. Shen Yang Xiao nodded really, but, but I don't know what that place is called. I don't know anything about the storm continent. I don't even know how I got here. Yu Ayu Lei wanted to cry. He wanted to tell the exact location, but he had no idea what the mountains and rivers of the dwarves were called. At best, he remembered the approximate route, but it was almost impossible for him to name the place. It's all right. Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes and looked maliciously at the frightened Yu Ayu Lei. Yu Ayu Lei, when you were in the Radiance Continent, you must have had a human name, right? Yes, yes. Yu Ayu Lei began to tremble subconsciously. What's your name then? Yu Lei. Yu Lei. Yes, there are a lot of your schoolmates in that place, and as a student of Holy Roland School, don't you have an obligation to take me there to get your classmates out of their predicament? Shen Yang Xiao smilingly said. Such a wary smile hidden under a ferocious face changing mask was shown in front of Yu Ayu Lei. Chapter 2262. Heavens, save him. 1. You. What do you mean? Yu Lei suddenly had a bad feeling. Since you don't know the name of the place, you'll have to take me there yourself. Shen Yang Xiao smiled. No, 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 no kidding. I'm not going back there. Do you want me to die? You have no idea how inhumane those guys are. How could I go back, after having managed to escape from there? Don't even think about it. Yulei wailed and curled himself up into a ball. It was his greatest nightmare. He didn't want to go back there for the rest of his life. That was a place where there was nowhere to hide, and she wanted him to go back. Dream on. Shen Yang Xiao frowned slightly. She waved her SD slowly in front of him and said, you can choose to take me willingly, or I can use violence to ask you to take me there, either way is knee by me. Yu Lei trembled and looked at Shen Yang Xiao's little street, his abdomen still aching. This King Kong Barbie was not an ordinary brute. If she really went violent with him, 
He might not be far from death. Why do you need to do so? Why bother? Those guys are really ferocious. Why do you want to jump into this mess? Yale knew that his resistance had no act at all, thus he began his null struggle, trying to persuade Shen Yang Xiao to abandon this self-destructive approach. The RST, or second. Shen Yang Xiao completely ignored his persuasion. Yule wanted to cry. He would rather not have the 80 million gold coins, if he knew fooling Bobo Bai would lead to meeting this bandit. Even if he had no money, he could work or something to get enough food and clothing, but in the hands of this King Kong Barbie, he was as good as dead. Do I have a choice? Yule wanted to cry without tears as he looked at Shen Yang Xiao. Choose RST or choose second? Either way, he had to go. He simply could not ght and could only give in. Very good. Shen Yang Xiao nodded in satisfaction. Not good. It was not good at all. Yele really wanted to shout up to the sky. Just how did he meet such a star of disaster? Now, you go to Bobo Bai and tell him that your treatment for his father is not over yet, and then I'll come with you to his room while you ask Bobo Bai to wait outside. Shen Yang Xiao was not in a hurry to end the warlock space. Toti. Dragon God, and Bayan were still on their way to the capital city. She must wait for all her forces to assemble before launching an attack. Before that, she had to clean up the mess of Yale, this quack. How else am I going to treat it? It's not like you don't know I'm just lying to that stupid kid with healing light. I can't treat him at all. Yale murmured. He was just an ordinary student at Holy Roland School and so far he had only just climbed to the rank of an intermediate priest. As for the illness of Bobo Bai's father, he simply had not geared out what was going on for a long time. How did she want him to treat this? I'm very certain I can't cure it. Since you know our holy Roland school, you should know that our group of priest branch students don't have many skills. The only one who broke through the second stage profession was a priest named Yan Yu. But he has been away from Holy Roland School for a long time. If it were him, he might be able to cure it. When Yule mentioned Yan Yu, his eyes were suddenly led with worship. Yan Yu? Shen Yang Xiao raised an eyebrow. Hearing the name of her little partner from others, it really made her feel nostalgic. Yes, he's a very powerful priest. He's my number one idol. Yale did not hide his admiration for Yan Yu. Chapter 2263, Heavens, save him. 2. Shen Yang Xiao chuckled and said, You kid, have a good vision. About Bobo Bai's father, you don't have to worry about it. Just do what I say. Yale wondered why Shen Yang Xiao praised his vision all of a sudden. He didn't know what this dwarf was capable of but since he couldn't beat her, he just had to be obedient. Yale quickly found Bobo Bai and told him he was going to perform the second treatment for his father. Bobo Bai was immediately moved to death. Master Yu Yule even ignored his own health to treat his father. He simply didn't know how to thank him. After Bobo Bai thanked him a lot, Yule invited Bobo Bai out at the behest of Shen Yang Xiao, but let Shen Yang Xiao stay. After closing the door, Yule stared at the dwarf lying in bed and spread his hands. There's nothing I can do about it. Shen Yang Xiao glanced at Yule, raised her hand, and then directly gave Yule a knife hand strike behind the neck. Before Yule could react, he passed out. Xu, help him get rid of the devil energy on his body. After Yule passed out on the ground, Shen Yang Xiao went to ask Xu's help at once. The next second, Xu gradually turned into a solid body and his slender gear stood taller in the dwarf's room. Shen Yang Xiao was not a doctor, and right now she was just a dwarf. She could not use her divine power at all, so she could only ask for Xu's help. With Xu's hands, removing the devil energy on Bobo Bai's father was so easy. All Shen Yang Xiao saw was those neat and good-looking ninjas hanging over the dwarf's head after which a faint energy slowly oted out of the dwarf in bed. Shen Yang Xiao sat by, looking at Xu's side face. Regardless of how long they met, she would never get tired of seeing that face. Shen Yang Xiao had wandered so many continents and seen many beauties of all races, but she had found no one comparable to Xu. Shen Yang Xiao was so very infatuated by it that even after Xu was done, she still hadn't come to her senses. The tall Yu slowly came to the side of Shen Yang Xiao and extended his long arms, embracing the dazed little guy into his arms. Feeling the familiar breath coming to her face, 
Chen Yangxia recovered from her trance and realized that the handsome face was up close, it was so lethal that she even stopped breathing at this moment. The next second, Chen Yangxiao held out her little, pinkish hands and covered his eyes. Don't look, this face is ugly. Even she herself could not accept such a King Kong Barbie appearance, how could she dilly eyes of a great god? Xu gently pulled down Chen Yangxiao's small hands as he wrapped his own big hand around them. His cold eyes carried a trace of warmth as he said in a soft voice, What I see is you, not these superficial things. Appearance was only a passing cloud. What he cared about was the soul hidden in the body. No matter what Shen Yangxiao became, no matter what race she became, to him, she was his wife. But it's still ugly. Shen Yangxiao wrinkled her nose. No matter how powerful a woman was, she always wanted to show her most beautiful side in front of the person she liked. The same was true of Shen Yangxiao. Not ugly. Xi bowed his head slightly and dropped a kiss on Shen Yangxiao's neck. Little Xiao is always the most beautiful in my heart. Like love words owed into her heart as the gentle kiss touched the skin of her neck. Shen Yangxiao smiled and leaned against Xiu's bosom. Chapter 2264 Heavens, save him. 3. Even if it were just a momentary peace, as long as they were together, then it was also good. In troubled times, a short period of tenderness could also touch the soul. Leaning against Xu's bosom, Chen Yangxiao hoped that time could stop at this moment, be it the races, alliance, the devil race invasion, or the sinful experiment, all of it could be temporarily left behind, so that the heartstrings which had been taught for a long time could get a little bit of relaxation. At this moment, she was just a young girl in the arms of her loved one, not the demon lord who was all-powerful and had conquered the whole Radiance continent. Her tenderness was only shown under his eyes, and his tenderness belonged to her alone. A pair of people for the rest of their lives, that was all they asked for in this life. Yule woke up in a daze, lying on the cold dough or, and the sore back of his neck reminded him of the root cause of his passing out. He reluctantly sat up and looked bitterly at Shen Yangxiao who was sitting and drinking tea. Cooperate, cooperate, cooperate. He was cooperative enough with her. Why did she have to knock him out? Was there any more humanity left in this world? Yule's expression at the moment was like a wife that had been ravaged by her husband. His face was mournful and his small, resentful eyes twinkled at Shen Yangxiao daring her to not speak. If you're awake then get up. Shen Yangxiao drank tea slowly. The warmth of the previous moment left there. Unscrupulous thief in a very good mood for now. Wasn't it nice to relax once in a while? Oh. Yile rose to his feet. Go and call Boba Bai in and tell him that his father has recovered. Shen Yangxiao said. Ah? Yule was confused. Go. As soon as Shen Yangxiao glared at Yule, he immediately jumped out like a frightened quail. Soon, Bobo Bai was brought in by Yule. Master Yu Ai Yule, is my father really cured? Bobo Bai excitedly held Yu Ai Yule's hand as his eyes sparkled with tears of excitement. Ah, ah, I think so. Yule, who had always been eloquent, could not help but be confused at their moment. How could he know if his father was already cured or not? The King Kong Barbie only told him that this father was cured now, he really didn't know anything ah. He was just a quack. Shen Yangxiao sat up from her chair, looked at the excited dwarf and said, Bobo Bai, your father is knee. Now, thanks to Master Yu Ayule, why don't you go see him? Bobo Bai nodded his head and went to the bedside at once. Yule pursed his lips. Wondering what Shen Yangxia was trying to do. A few seconds later, Bobo Bai burst into a scream. He turned his head and looked tearfully at Yu Ayu Lei, and said excitedly, Master Yu Ayu Lei, thank you very much. You're really the best doctor I've ever seen. Thank you. Yu Lei was a little confused by Bobo Bai's series of thanks. He subconsciously looked at Shen Yangxia, who didn't even give him a sidelong glance. With doubt in his heart, Yule went to the bedside and looked at the man lying in bed. The dwarf, who had previously held a bluish-purple complexion, had now returned to his normal color, and although he was still a little pale, some traces of blood could already be seen in his face. Overall, he only seemed a little weak, but not half-dead as before. Yule's eyes immediately stared at the boss in the room, 
and stood in place with his mouth wide open. How long did he pass out? How could a dwarf that was about to die get better after he woke up? Wasn't this so miraculous? Chapter 2265, Heavens, save him. For Ilay had no idea what was going on, but Boba Bai had attributed his father's cure to Ilay. He couldn't wait to come to Ilay and hold his hand. He was so moved that he could not even say anything. Yule was embarrassed. He really didn't do anything. Master Bobo Bai, you are Yule not only saved your father, but he also asked me to return the gold coins he had asked for. Shen Yang Xiao stood up, holding the storage ring that Bobo Bai had handed over to Yule not long ago. Yule's eyes were about to pop out. He clearly remembered how he had put it in his pocket, how come it had run into her hands. What Boba Bai looked at Shen Yang Xiao in surprise. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and put the ring in Bobo Bai's hand and said, Master Yu Ayu Lei is of noble character and unquestionable integrity, how can he charge you so much? He just wanted to try your leal piety to your father and thus created a dicult problem for you, as to test you. Now that you have proved your leal piety, Master Yu Ayu Lei will naturally not take these gold coins. Your father has just recovered, save the money for your father's health. Master Yu Ayu Lei? Bobo Bai held the storage ring in disbelief and looked at Yulei. Yulei had a twitching expression. Screw your damn noble character and unquestionable integrity. He didn't have such an idea at all. He just wanted to cheat some money and envy a beautiful place to spend all his life alone. Who knew when this storage ring fell into the hands of this King Kong Barbie? Yulei wanted to shake his head. He wanted to tell Bobo Bai that he didn't want to give the money back at all. But, Shen Yang Xiao on one side, was smiling like a demon at him. Even if Yule had a hundred tons of courage, he still dared not refute Shen Yang Xiao's words. He could only lose a tooth and swallow the blood. Yule could only pull up the corners of his mouth with a stiff face. Yes, that's my idea. The money. Just take it back. Master Yu are Yule, thank you so much. Once again, Bobo Bai wept with joy. He was really a crybaby dwarf. Watching Bobo Bai take back the storage ring, Yule's heart broke all over the oar. Why did he have to be tormented like this? Being abused by a King Kong Barbie was not enough, but he also had to give back his pension money. Oh, heavens, save him. He simply could not live like this. Heartbroken, Yule was in a trance. How he wanted to tell himself that none of this was true and that he was just dreaming. Bobo Bai, you take care of your father, Master Yu Ayu Lei and I will go RST. Shen Yang Xiao smiled. Ah, Huo Huo Xiao, where are you going? Bobo Bai did not forget this friend who lent him a helping hand at the most critical time. If it were not for the timely appearance of Shen Yang Xiao, he would not have been able to pass the test of Master Yu Ayu Lei. Master Yu Ayu Lei said I have an internal injury in my body. He had just checked it for me. It was quite complicated, so he wanted to go back to my place of residence with me and help me slowly recuperate. Shen Yang Xiao said, directly pushing Yu Lei down the hole he had dug himself. You would not die if you didn't seek death. Yu Lei really wanted to slap himself in the mouth right now. Who told you to be greedy for money? who told you. Now, it was great. Not only did he not get a penny, but he was also abused by this violent King Kong Barbie, simply utterly heartless. Ah, all right, Huo Huo Xiao, you must take good care of yourself. If there's anything, you can come and see me in the Bobo tribe. I must thank you and Master Yu Ai Yu Lei properly. The foolish Bobo Bai did not notice that this quack was already in tears. Chapter 2266 a heap of metal rods. 1. After saying their goodbyes to Bobo Bai, Shen Yang Xiao dragged Yule to the Alchemist Guild's accommodation for the annual convention. Halfway through, Shen Yang Xiao picked up her cloak and wrapped herself up tightly. Where are you taking me? Yule asked in horror. No need to be afraid. I'm not going to take you to those guys yet. I still have to wait for some companions before they arrive. You will stay with me at the Alchemist Guild's accommodation. And I'm warning you, if you say anything you shouldn't say, watch out for your head. Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes and issued a warning. Yule wanted to cry. Why was this fellow so gentle to that brat Boba Bai but so cruel to him? How could he know what to say and what not to say? Yule was taken by Shen Yang Xiao to the Puko's Alchemist Guild's accommodation. Pipika, 
who had been waiting outside the door, immediately greeted Shen Yang Xiao upon seeing her, Momo Xiao, you're back, the president thought you were lost, he told me to wait for you at the door. Pippi Ka smiled and said, Jedlu was not afraid of Shen Yang Xiao getting lost, but of her identity being discovered by Mimi Si, and this is? Pippi Ka noticed Yule following Shen Yang Xiao, this is a friend of mine, he has just arrived at the capital and has not yet settled down, I think there are still many vacant rooms in our guild, so I asked him to come and stay with us. Shen Yang Xiao's face did not even tense up, nor did she stutter when telling such a lie. Yile muttered to himself, friends, was there a friend like her? There was absolutely no such friend that would beat you up, that would exploit you and intimidate you. And what exactly was with this King Kong Barbie's name? Why was it Huo Huo Xiao in the first moment, and then it became Momo Xiao in the next? Yule was full of questions, but he always kept Shen Yang Xiao's warning in mind, not staring to open his mouth. He could only giggle at Pippi Ka. Welcome. We have a lot of rooms here. Feel free to stay. Pippi Ka was very hospitable. Pippi Ka arranged accommodations for Yale, and he was so kind as to arrange Yale's room directly next to his friend, which simply made Yale want to die. Since entering the room, Yale was warned not to leave without permission, or else he would be dead, so he had to sit honestly in the room. Meanwhile, Shen Yang Xiao followed Pippi Cat to see Jej Lu, Momo Xiao. Did you see anything interesting at the auction? Jej Lu breathed a sigh of relief when he saw Shen Yang Xiao come back safely. Nothing in particular, but there's one thing I'd like to ask the president for a favor on. Shen Yang Xiao said, don't be so polite, just say it. Jej Lu was quite proud. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and took out a golden box from her storage ring after which the eyes of Jej Lu and Pippik immediately became surprised. They had seen this box before. Wasn't it the one with the abyss mithril? I stayed at the High High Clouds auction house for a long time and didn't see anything good, but the president said that the abyss mithril is a good thing for making some metal rods. I don't know how to do it. I wonder if the president can help me with it. Shen Yang Xiao delivered the brocade golden box containing the abyss mithril into the hands of Jej Lu. Jej Lu's hands began to shake. Abyss mithril. It was really the abyss mithril. Jej Lu would never have thought that Momo Xiao would bring this 80 million coin thing back. Chapter 2267, A Heap of Metal Rods, 2. Momo Xiao. Yu Jejlu looked at Shen Yang Xiao in astonishment. He suddenly remembered the batch of potions sold for over a hundred million gold coins at the High Clouds auction house, and then thought of Shen Yang Xiao selling potions at Puko's Bazaar previously. Those potions? Are you the one who put them up for auction? Jejlu had a hard time opening his mouth. Yes. Shen Yang Xiao did not plan to hide it anymore. She had already exposed herself to Jejlu at the Puko's Bazaar once before and Pippi Ka already had the speculation in his mind. Furthermore, Pippi Ka knew that she went to meet the manager of the High Clouds auction house. Even if she didn't say it, it was estimated that these two dwarfs would be able to guess most of it. Your hobby is pharmaceutics. You made all the potions you sold. Jej Lu went a step further and said his own speculation out loud. Shen Yang Xiao blinked her eyes and shook her head with a smile. President, you really think highly of me. How old do you think am I? How can I create a potion that even Master Mew Mew Fan admires? I'm an alchemist. To tell you the truth, actually, these potions were made by a friend of mine, and now that friend is here with us, Pippi Ka has just arranged a room for him today. Shen Yang Xiao directly dragged Yule out as a shield. Anyway, Yule was an escapee from that place, and in the Storm Continent, there was absolutely no dwarf who would know where he came from, no matter how Shen Yang Xiao described him, no one would find out the truth. Really? Jej Lu looked at Shen Yang Xiao with some uncertainty. He had always suspected that Shen Yang Xiao's hobby was pharmaceutics, so he would guard against the pharmacists guild and Mimi Si for fear that they would steal the members of his own guild. But if the potions weren't made by Shen Yang Xiao, then Jej Lu had nothing to worry about, whoever it was, as long as it was not little Xiao. Why would I lie about it, President? You can ask Pippi if I brought a friend back today. Shen Yang Xiao was very honest. Jej Lu immediately looked at Pippika, 
and Pippi Can nodded his head at him. It's true, Momo Xiao brought a friend today. I am unfamiliar with the dwarf, I'm sure I have never seen him before. Oh, I see. In fact, I thought that your talent for alchemy, little girl, is already very good, and it would be a little too heavenlyfying if you were also a strong pharmacist, ah. Jegzlu's heart that had been hanging in midair was finally put down. Unfortunately, he did not know that Shen Yang Xiao was originally a small monster that defied the natural order. Overbearing since her rebirth, she had not done anything that was normal. No matter what she was learning, her speed of progression was the same as riding a rocket. Summoner, archer, pharmacist, enchanter, alchemist. Shen Yang Xiao had learned more than anyone could imagine. Shen Yang Xiao just smiled and looked at Jej Lu without saying much. By the way, how long will your friend stay in the capital? Master Miu Miu Fan wanted to invite him. Master Miu Miu Fan is a very respectable dwarf, if possible, can your friend go see him? As soon as he realized that the goal of that group of pharmacists was not a member of his own guild, Jej Lu immediately became generous and began to help Miu Miu Fan invite Shen Yang Xiao's friend over. I have to ask him for his opinion. Shen Yang Xiao was not in a hurry to answer. Her primary goal now was to get a metal rod. Chapter 2268, A Heap of Metal Rods, 3. Jej Lu was not in a hurry either. He knew that Shen Yang Xiao really needed a metal rod. Shen Yang Xiao had not made much of a breakthrough in the study of superior sacred tools before, and he believed it would help her if she could have some metal rods. A metal rod is not hard to make. I'll get someone to send it to you, at the latest, I can make you some metal rods in the evening. Jejlu smilingly said. He was also pleased that his guild had come up with such a well-equipped alchemist. President, I asked the seller of Abyss Mithril. He said that such a big piece of Abyss Mithril could produce a lot of metal rods. Help me build a complete metal rod with the Abyss Mithril, then the rest, see if you can make a few simple metal rods for the members of the guild. Shen Yang Xiao said what she had thought before. There were two kinds of metal rods. One was the complete one, in which the whole top part of the metal rod needed to be made of rare metal. This kind of metal rod had the best effect, but was also least common in the storm continent because rare metals were hard to find, and not every one of them was suitable for making metal rods. Throughout the storm continent, only the number one alchemist had a complete metal rod while the other royal alchemists and the presidents of alchemist guilds used simple metal rods. For simple metal rods, a thin layer of a rare metal was enough to attach to the top part of the rod. Shen Yang Xiao calculated that with such a large abyss mithril, a part would still be left. After making a complete metal rod, you could still create at least three or four simple metal rods from this left over. One would be enough for her and the rest might as well be given to the members of the guild. Are you serious? Momo Xiao, this abyss mithril is precious, and you spent so much money for it. Jejlu looked at Shen Yang Xiao in disbelief. They all knew the price of this abyss mithril, even if there was only a little left over after Shen Yang Xiao's use, it was still worth a few tens of millions of gold coins, but she was so generous as to give it to the members of the guild. I can only use one anyway so the extra ones would just be wasted on me. Don't be polite to me, President. The alchemist's convention is about to begin. Hurry up and make some metal rods. You can use them to make some good stuff, so that our guild can get a good place in the competition. Shen Yang Xiao naturally knew that it would be difficult for Jejlu to accept such a valuable thing with his character and all, but as long as the interests of the guild were brought out, Jejlu could no longer refuse. Sure enough. Jejlu struggled for a long time and finally accepted the gift from Shen Yang Xiao. He felt that he and the guild really owed Shen Yang Xiao too much. Shen Yang Xiao had joined the guild not long ago, but she had already brought a lot of assistance to the guild. By the way, I still have some money left after buying Abyss Mithril. Let's go and replenish some alchemy supplies for the guild. As she spoke, Shen Yang Xiao handed over the storage ring which contained some of the remaining gold coins to Jej Lu. Jej Lu trembled from being stirred up. The final auction price of little Xiao's batch of potions was more than a hundred million gold coins, excluding the eighty million gold coins used to purchase the Abyss Mithril, there were thirty million gold coins left. More than thirty million gold coins, 
she actually went so far as to give it to the guild. Momo Xiao, you, what do you want me to say? I can only thank you for your generosity on behalf of all the members of our guild. Tears have sprung up in the corners of Jej Lu's eyes. Chapter 2269, A Heap of Metal Rods, 4, Don't be polite to me, sir, I will be waiting for my metal rod later. Shen Yang Xiao smiled, the money was really nothing to her, but it was important to the Puko's alchemist guild. Soon after Toti arrived in the capital city, Shen Yang Xiao estimated that she would leave the storm continent, too. The gold coins used by the dwarves were of no use to her, so she might as well leave them where it could be useful. All right, I'll send them to you later. Jedlu wiped away the tears in his eyes and immediately put away the abyss mithril and the storage ring containing money. Pipika, who had long been overwhelmed by Shen Yang Xiao's local tycoon momentum, turned to Shen Yang Xiao and called, Momo Xiao, are you going to marry, huh? You can consider me, I'm easy to raise for the first time in his life. Pipika gave birth to the urge to be a pretty boy. She's really a local tycoon ah? Huh? Shen Yang Xiao was speechless. It doesn't matter if you are not going to marry. I can be your godson. Pipika had lost his integrity. Shen Yang Xiao turned around silently and ignored the crazy Pipika. Master Xiao, don't go. I ask for your charity. Please keep me. I can cook, wash and mop the floor. The cry of Pipika resounded through the sky. Because of the generosity of Shen Yang Xiao, Jejlu specifically instructed Pipik and others to be grateful to Shen Yang Xiao's actions, which directly led to, Master Xiao. Are you hungry? Why don't I get you some fruits, Master Xiao? Are you thirsty? There's a good freshly made tea. Would you like a pot of tea, Master Xiao? Thank you for your hard work. This humble one will give you a massage. Godmother, I am your godson who has been separated from you for many years. A large wave of unscrupulous alchemists began to hug Shen Yang Xiao's thighs one after another, blocking the outside of Shen Yang Xiao's door, and Shen Yang Xiao did not even dare to open the door. Meanwhile, Yu Lei, who was in the next room, was peeping through the gap of the slightly open door of his room, watching such a dramatic scene. Holy smokes, were these dwarves crazy to think they had so much respect for a King Kong Barbie? Godmother, they were simply blind. That thing was a Shemal, all right. You have to call him Godfather. Yule deeply felt that this group of alchemists must have had so many unrealistic fantasies about someone because they had never seen their true appearance, and only heard that sweet voice. If he let them know that the certain voice that was very pleasant to hear, in fact, was hiding a ferocious King Kong Barbie, perhaps they would escape faster than a rabbit. No wonder that guy wrapped himself so tightly in a cloak, he was actually trying to fool these dwarves. He was simply shameless, despicable. Yale praised his wit for discovering someone's dark schemes so simply. Just stick to him. One day you will regret it. One day you'll realize how insane that guy is. The battered Yale could not help thinking badly. The madness of the group of alchemists continued until Jejlu's return. As night fell, Jejlu came back to the guild residence with five metal rods that had just been made and was greeted by a group of bastards around the door of Shen Yang Xiao's room, howling like wolves. Suddenly, the face of a certain president was pulled down, Lulu. The corners of Jejlu's mouth twitched as he called his humanoid machine, Lulu who was following him. Lulu is here. Throw all these bastards in the pond. Chapter 2270, Superior Sacred Tools, 1. After a large wave of alchemists was thrown into the lotus pond, filling it to the brim, Shen Yang Xiao could finally feel relaxed. Jejlu was so angry that smoke spouted through his seven orifices. He did not understand why these bastards were so shameless and thick-skinned. Were these still the cute dwarves in their guild? Shen Yang Xiao got her own metal rod, the body of which was made of precious wood, selected by Jej Lu himself specifically for her. It was only as thick as a finger, and the entire upper part was made from abyss mithril. Shen Yang Xiao took out two of the remaining four metal rods and gave them to Jej Lu and Pipika, expressing her gratitude for their constant care while she handed the other two over to Jejlu to let him choose which alchemists to give them to. With five metal rods and a lot of money from Shen Yang Xiao, 
Puko's alchemist guild could be said to be in high spirits. All the alchemists were now devoting themselves to intense alchemy, praying to win glory for their guild at the upcoming convention. Shen Yang Xiao, with her metal rod, dived into the lab, completely forgetting some sad quack in the corner. Looking at a row of rare metals, Shen Yang Xiao slowly stroked the bracelet on her wrist. Sleeping in the multi element furnace, the fire elemental spirit felt the call of Shen Yang Xiao and immediately ignited his own flames. A blazing flame lit up in Shen Yang Xiao's palm, with Shen Yang Xiao and the Divine Tool acting as one. The first piece of rare metal was quenched on the flame. The first, second, and third pieces. Shen Yang Xiao constantly placed the rare metals needed to make the sacred tool in the flame to quench them. At this moment, her mind was highly focused. When these pieces of rare metals were quenched, Shen Yang Xiao began to fuse them. They came together slowly, each step Shen Yang Xiao took was very carefully done. Her previous failures occurred in this very process of integration, could she reverse the defeat this time? When the fused metal converged into one, Shen Yang Xiao clearly felt that several powerful spiritual forces were constantly colliding. She suddenly picked up the metal rod, held her breath and, at the peak of the chaos, gently pressed the rod against the fusing metal. All of a sudden, all the chaos disappeared without a trace, the restless spiritual forces of the previous moment calm. Shen Yang Xiao's eyes flashed with excitement. It was done. Finally able to stabilize the spiritual forces of the fusing metals, Shen Yang Xiao could finally begin the final step, shaping. In order to make it easy to carry, Shen Yang Xiao directly formed it into the shape of a ring the size of which could be adjusted freely according to the thickness of the wearer's finger. Looking at the silver ring on her finger, a smile rose from the corner of Shen Yang Xiao's mouth. She bit the fingertip of her other hand and dropped a bit of blood into the sacred tool. Bright light bloomed between her fingers, and a strong airflow swept the room. Receiving the blood, the sacred tool had recognized its master. Shen Yang Xiao's mind was directly linked to the sacred tool and she could clearly feel that the powerful spiritual force within was waiting for her call. It worked at last. Shen Yang Xiao shouted out uncontrollably. After such a vast amount of effort, she finally made the first superior sacred tool. 